Yo. What up? This is your boy Plexity, and you know, back at it again. <laughs> back at it again, even though you've been absent for mad times. Today, of course, is going to be a talk. Yep. Might be going to be a long one. Who knows? I don't even know. But we're about to see. Let's get it. I wrote some topics on the side, so. It's gonna be like this time is organized. Finally, it's a it's a flex talks when it's organized. Okay. So first topic. First topic is absence, stagnant in life. That's what I that's what I said in um, the notes here. And what I mean by stagnant of life is is basically having no motivation at all to do anything. You know, just feeling like feeling like a whole bunch of doubt and crap listening to your thoughts to the point where it's like it makes you stuck it makes, it makes you stuck or stop like a car without gas it's, it's just there it's just there to be there like it, it, it exists but it's not it's like it feels like it doesn't have a purpose because it doesn't have a purpose it doesn't feel like it has a purpose it's like what's the point of keep like keep continuing i mean of course it's out of gas but it doesn't need that it doesn't have that juice or that boost that it needs to just you know start its engine and start roaring like a fucking lion yeah for my life i've been stagnant for two years you know ever since like ever since my high school situation like that song that i have on my channel it's been stagnant like that that's like that was the that was the point of it being stagnant i feel like because i made videos like you know my motivation my motivation was going down here from there Cause I made videos on Plex Talks, but like, oh, I don't know what's happening to me. I feel like, you know, motivation is sinking. And then each video is like, it's talking about the same topic, but worse and then worse and worse until now that it actually crashed. Right? I've been, I've been stagnant for everything. Now you're not even besides YouTube. I've been stagnant with my whole life. Like, I've been stagnant from, like, to be honest, like, don't even, you see, you see this nappy here? Bro, you see, you see, like, the boxes and shit behind me? You see... It's like I've been like stop taking care of myself from everything. Stop doing like music. Stopped freaking but I'm working as hard as I can. Stopped doing everything. Everything is on a halt. It's because of me. But for the past two years, I've been stagnant, and now like because I've been stagnant, like I have health problems. And that goes to my second topic, which is health problems and mental like. Mental and you know physical, everything, everything, basically everything of a situation. Like had mental problems and health problems. Mental problems as like you know, like to be honest, like I like the these past couple of like these two months has been very insane. Like mentally, mentally not well. Like I'm talking about Outlast, not well. Like I've been destroyed. Like my mental, my mental been destroyed to where I can't even. I can't even copy hand on anything, let alone like just focus. Like I just I, I crashed. I was like, you know, it's done. Life is done. Like this is the end for me. Like I don't like it's like the existence. Like speaking of like the topic before about existence, like I didn't feel existence, and but I was still there amongst the living. Like depersonalization or like basically a zombie. Like a, the zombie is physically there, but the soul is just gone. And that's how that's how I felt. Because of that, I went to you know, actually, like the feeling of not existing. Like it's intense, and you know, I did do stupid things, which I you know I promised myself like before that I would want to do. But it's like it's going it's going to the same train, going to the same train. Like it's like a repeat, like a recycle, bro. Like a recycle. I need to recycle shit. The things that's bad in my life. Damn. But yeah, health problems. Yeah, physical. The physical. Um, to be honest, like my back is not okay. My, you know, weight gain is not okay. I'm super skinny. Um, got pains in my freaking freaking bones. It's not my health is my health is not good. Yeah, my health is definitely not good. And my vision is getting a little bit blurrier. It's not. It's not good at all, bro. And it's because I stopped taking care of myself. You're not gonna operate, nothing's gonna operate within you and out of you. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna be the best when it comes to working like in a job or something. Or basically you're not gonna be you're not gonna be your own employee as your own boss within yourself, like. And that that see it caused health problems. Some of which probably I can't even change. I gotta see, I gotta um I gotta do things to, you know, get back on track before it's too late. Yeah, that's the situation with my health problems. It just crashed because I was stagnant on life. If you're stagnant on life, things will just, you know, continue and things will get worse because you're not moving. 
you gotta continue on to move regardless of how you feel your needs your needs definitely need to be there that your wants your wants is usually the things that you don't need like don't even need well most of the time your wants is just basically your laziness or your like your bad habits and your needs is basically your good habits that you need to consistently do on a daily basis in order to live do the things that you don't want to do in order to in the future be where you want to be in a company yeah for this like this is me uh, that's like a per perfect example of being stagnant and doing the things that i want to do instead of doing the things i need to do and because of that you know it destroyed me it's, it's, it's destroying me like legit it's destroying me but you know speaking of speaking of like you know you know mental health and everything i also wanted to bring the bring the topic on etika and bruh i yo i watched that dude ever since like way 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 his deep his um his dark webs yo his dark webs bro them shits yo them shits is die of laughter bro but yeah this man this man was like an inspiration to me like this man was like, you know, I don't, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm gonna do me. That's it. It's just gonna be me. And whoever's gonna ride, ride with my boat. We're gonna ride together. Whoever wants to just fuck, wanna be me, just fuck off. And he had, no, he had like, he had such a amazing, like, he's, he's amazing. He's an amazing dude. He's an amazing dude. But no, mental, like, mental, mental health. It's a perfect example of um, him, like, compared to me, is, um, but in my situations, is that like social media social media is um it's not good social media is definitely not good like like i know i know it's like social media is supposed to be a tool but certain certain things you cannot control with such social media you know you can use it as a tool and such but still still it's a force to be reckoned with it's still a force to be reckoned with the companies make it so that you could be addicted to keep going and keep watching to get their traction and you know their money and shit in their pockets it's bad. Like, it's a hell of an addictive thing. I don't care when I saw that I'm sorry video. It's like, I felt so, like, when it comes to social media, when it comes to the feeling of that you portrayed others, the feeling of that you seem like the bad guy, that the world seems to target you, that everybody seems to target to you when that feeling of alone comes intensely. Yeah, I really I related to the situation quite a lot. I even like when my um first attempt, I was like, no bitch niggas. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it was bad, but luckily luckily I'm still alive. Yeah, situation example is like it's, I switched it to a term of, of like motivation to that his the the things that he done for people for upstreams, like he couldn't he could have just not done that at all. He could have just Put that aside, you could just not did that for her. But he, he entertained, he loved doing it, he loved, you know, making people laugh and such. He was an entertainer, you know. And for that, for which, it's like we were, we was on the same boat. Like, YouTuber, YouTuber, streamer, streamer, like, it was on the same boat. And I felt like that used that as, a, like, a motivation. Because he don't want, he, don't, he doesn't, like, even within his situations that he went to, he he doesn't want to like he doesn't want anybody to go through. and i feel as though like from the same experience and i can use like him as a, a motivation to just keep going because he he wanted he wanted his um he wanted his crew to you know prevail and he wanted to you know make everybody you know good safe calm and such he, he didn't he didn't spit no bad blood towards anybody but it's just you know life gives you you know problems that it feels like you can't escape and it's all around and i know that feeling to the point where it even drove me to like insanity but i gotta say etika rest in peace but thank you bro like seriously <laughs> like seriously you're you're awesome wherever you are hope you're chilling hope you're doing good <laughs> i'll be still being, being hilarious yeah but yeah man thanks because technically i think he he did save my life, so thanks. Now bring it, bring it back, cause these these are the top three that really inspir inspired me to keep going, or inspired me to just you know not you know make ends meet, if you know what I'm saying. Um, Corey Kenshin, man, I know I speak to him a lot, I speak about him a lot, but Corey Kenshin, this dude, is hilarious, bro, such a hilarious man. He just, you don't even need to say, you just didn't say the name, but you, you already know he's fucking, you know. Dude, it's hilarious, bro. But yeah, him, 
he gives me inspiration like this dude is a freaking <laughs> this dude is a freaking role model kind of so he's a freaking role model this dude the way that the way the things that he says the way he's so expressive about his situations the way he's funny like with, ed- with editing and such i feel like he was also we and him was also like in the same bandwagon when it comes to stagnant and you know our mental our mental like capacity shutting down because i feel koi kitchen yeah this dude i think he, he's going through like a stagnant a stagnant um thing as well like he, he doesn't feel like he doesn't feel that that um motivation at all like crashing down and such but it's not it's not because he doesn't want to do this it's like it's not because he doesn't want to do this or that like it's getting boring or something it's just something with something with his mental like I feel like the things you're going you're going through internally affects what you like your um what your motive is or what the things that you do definitely for me it affect me so for the situation that he's going through I think it is affecting him as well and so like he even though like he's going through a situation he's trying to come back like he been he posted I think what 100 something videos so far like within this year or not not 100 something but damn i know it's like around a lot of videos and he actually tried actually tried every single day to post even though even though he was feeling this way he tried like he tried like he they can't say that he didn't try so this uh the stagnant situation this this feeling is very destructive very very kind of tormented and for like for him to go through this and like it's a, basically it's like it's more so like a situation that I mean, not, not a situation inspiration that like I'm not alone through this even uh, even the big guys can feel that way you know but yeah that dude that dude is an inspiration his words still reach out to me his care for others his care for his, his like way of entertainment also is like you know inspiration to me and it makes me you know keep going through keep going through it and yo the last person Oh man, this dude, son. This dude, I didn't even gonna say any name, but look at this. This dude right here, bro. This dude right here, bro. Yo, uh, yo. Shit aside, like, I'm never gonna forget about this dude. X, man. X? Yo, never. Like, the, the history, never. I'm gonna, like, if I, when I get, like, when I gain weight, when I gain weight, bro, I'm getting a tattoo of it. Like, X here, and then a big X on my back, and then the X on like the, the left shoulder, and yo, cause this dude yo, this dude yo maybe survived through everything. Like the I think 2015 is when I um when I met this dude. Well, not met this dude, but um when I listened when I first listened to his music, I never met him. But bro. This dude was such an inspiration, yo. This dude, like, he's basically my twin. Like, he's basically my twin. Like, he, we both went through the same shit. But this dude transformed, like, <laughs> this dude fucking transformed. He's like, <laughs> and then just transformed into something, like, unbelievable. But also goes to show that time is definitely, definitely um, freaking your enemy. Because he was he was going he was going to change he was going to fucking be a badass he, even his sad video was an example of him you know it's like you know fuck the old me that's not that's not me anymore this is the new me this is the new me the powerful the the freaking wisdom of a god this is this is me this is me fuck the old me that old me doesn't exist anymore and and just for him his life to cut be cut short it's sad it's sad you know it, 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 it's like it was, it was making me t- like it was. I think I cried when I uh, like when I um heard the news that he died, son. Because it's like losing a brother, man. Losing a brother, bro. And this dude was such a like a big like the biggest inspiration out of everything. He still is a big inspiration for me. Like each time, like it doesn't, it doesn't. Each time doesn't skip a day when I don't think about him, or when when his like his music pops up in my head. I listen to this dude daily. Like, there's no day I didn't, like, listen to at least one or two of his songs. Like, this dude, I feel his energy. His energy is not going. And just, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do, 
the right things for this dude because I, was, I don't even know. Even even when uh, one day when I um when I recorded like the like the moon, I saw like there's a there was a red light, and there was a white light, and there was a moon light, and then it said like it showed like X or like the 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 beams across the the um the lights. Bro, I was like, yo, this dude's showing signs, bro. This dude's showing signs that he's like, he's, he wants me to do this. Like, this is my, this is my, um, my, my destiny or some shit. It's a Pokemon. But damn. Yeah, that dude's, uh, like, will always be an inspiration to me. Will always be a top inspiration, bro. <laughs> regardless, son, regardless. But yeah, those top, those three, yeah. Basically, like, those three is the ones that, like, kept me pushing, kept me being uh being there being alive like kiss me pushing through these dark days uh let's see my other topics is creativity needs versus wants all right so i'm gonna be for real with you guys like there's also another thing another thing that um happened that probably made me crash is that well it's actually multiple things one one being views like caring about the numbers and such back then yo that was such a big thing for me numbers and views and such I was such a big thing to the point where I'll be playing games just for the sake of views just for the sake of attention instead of enjoying the game as is and it's it sucked because it, it also drained my motivation I was like oh I'm not getting this views it must have sucked oh um oh people's not gonna like me it's like I'm seeking number validations basically validations from numbers without validation for myself it's like I need to I, do I need to really record these videos or these video games in order to um, in order to please others like what about me what about myself and I and I feel like I feel as though I'm saying for this I'm saying you know fuck it I will record whatever I want to record like this is my channel I want to record whatever I want to record I don't I do not want to record for the sake of validation for others like even though even though like I want I want this channel to be all about us is that if I if I if I only record what y'all want me to record, then it's not it's not gonna be fun for me. It's it's just gonna be forceful, it's like a forceful thing. Like oh you're not recording this, bye. Oh you're not recording that, bye. That's validation, and I I don't want that anymore. Like I wanna record what I wanna record. I wanna do shit what I wanna do shit. Period. Like I wanna I wanna make music the way I wanna make music. I don't give a fuck if it's like bad for you guys or. If my like voice, oh his voice is cringy as shit. I don't give a crap because this is my channel. Just like how like Instagram, just how what Twitter. If you don't like my content, fuck off. <laughs> if you don't like my content, f off. Because this is my creativity. This is where I can shine through my creativity. This is a place where I can post anything that I want. Because creativity is my way of you know survival within this world. I have to create in order to survive. Like. I feel as though my art deserve like my art or my the way that I want to do things, my fun and you know, all and everything has to be expressive towards, you know, outwards instead of inwards. And, you know, I love creating I love creating. I love creating. And the reason I stopped creating is, you know, my motivation crashed. Now because my needs so the other topic, my needs and wants. I need to play video games that I actually like playing like <laughs> I got a lot of video games in my steam and I got VR I don't even see hold up I got freaking yep Did you see this in the corner yep I got my VR headset so there's a lot of shit that's going to go down I think I have a I think I have enough space for it so there's a lot of games that I want to play for the VR and such there's a lot of things I want to do and yeah those are going to be my needs instead of my wants the creativity this is going to like YouTube or anything in general, my needs got come first before my What I need is to be posting the content that I like. I'll be posting like the videos that I want to post. That's a need. And if you like it, good. We Gucci, we're on the same page. <laughs> Alright, and last topic that I wrote, because I don't want this to be too long. <laughs> Updates about posting and what's going to happen to the channel. Alright, so what's going to happen to the channel? Well, first thing is posting. So my plan is to post at least three to four videos a week. 
so I could get, so get used to, you know, recording again. They recorded it six months. <laughs> so that's kind of bad. I need to, you know, get through the, uh, get used to the algorithm and such, you know, get used to the, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> get used to the turn up and shit. But, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be posting three to four videos depending on the work day. Depending on the work day. So, you sometimes might get three, sometimes might get four, sometimes might get two. So, there's still gonna be content dropping, but it's gonna, it depends on the schedule of my works. So, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna record probably like bad videos in one day and then just send it. But, yeah, and that's gonna be the content and I'm gonna, you know, share it. But that's, that's some, uh, that's some else. But, anyways, yeah, three to four videos. Three to four videos. And what's gonna happen to this channel? Well, Three or four videos is gonna be random days. I can't like schedule. Well, I probably can. I can schedule um videos. So we'll see. We're gonna have to see. Depending on the schedule, but depending depending on the schedule of my work, depending on which when I record the video of my free days, it will determine on which day it is. So it's gonna be random days. Basically, it's gonna be random days. I'm not gonna really schedule say Wednesday, two. It's gonna be two o'clock. That's probably that's gonna be mostly a fact. It's always gonna be two o'clock p.m. Eastern time. This channel, man, this channel has been here for what two years now? Three, almost three. What's gonna happen to the channel? I'm gonna be posting. That's a fact. I'm gonna be posting. This channel is not gonna. Well, it's technically is dead, but this channel is. This channel, pff, I don't even know. This channel is gonna be active. I'm gonna try to revive it again. If it's not gonna revive, nah, I'm not gonna delete the channel and make a new one. That's yeah, that's. I already promised myself I'm not gonna do that shit because I I always be doing that. So I promise I promise my friends and everybody else that I'm not gonna be, um, I'm not gonna be deleting channels anymore. This is gonna be my main main. So yeah, so my main channel is gonna be. I'm gonna try to revive it. I'm gonna try to play like different games that I like and shit. That's gonna be awesome. But yeah, man, I think I covered every single thing. Yeah, I think I covered every single thing. Yeah, whatever like that happened with my life and shit. Yeah, and now I'm back trying to get my life together and shit. So be like, be with me, or whatever, whatever they say. What was it? Be with me or like support me? I don't know. Be there for. Oh yeah, be there for me. There we go. <laughs> I said be with me. What? But anyway, this is Plug City. If you like the video, if you want to, you know, give me advice or some comments down below, it'd be very much appreciated. And I might be streaming on Twitch today. So check it out. Link is going to be down in the description for my Twitch. I'm going to be streaming today. So let you know if you want to follow, go ahead and follow. But anyway, this is Plug City. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you're having a wonderful life. And I'm with you as much as, well, I'm with you as much as you are with me, yeah. And we're in this together. So, deuces. Uh, Plex is back! <laughs> Again. <laughs>